Welcome to Siva. We are going to introduce the features of Siva software related to metamodels and probability of detection studies. Reliable POD curves require a large amount of data collected for an adapted range of defect sizes. This is not always achievable for experimental campaigns. Simulation and metamodels can help a lot to address this subject more efficiently. Let's see an example based on a SIVA high-frequency eddy current simulation. The testing of a planar aluminium component is defined. The probe is a single circular coil with a ferrite core, operating in absolute mode at 1 MHz. It scans over the plate where a defect in red has been defined. To build the POD study, some variability is introduced in the model. For instance, here, the variable parameters are flow dimensions, flow ligament, coil liftoff and coil tilt angle. The simulations are then defined in the variation panel. But instead of a classical parametric study, SIVA 2017 has introduced the possibility to build a metamodel, in other words, a model of the simulation model. After having selected metamodel, some smart sampling methods can be used, which requires much less simulations to build the metamodel than a full factorial one. Now you can run the simulations. After the calculation, you can use the results of the metamodel in the analysis window. First, this tab gives parametric variation curves, here, signal amplitude versus liftoff. You can observe that these curves are not based on discrete values, but are continuous. Indeed, the metamodel gives access to the full space of parameters variation range, not only to the simulated cases. And you can display curves for all other parameters and for any combinations of values. In the next tab, you can display 2D plot representations. Here, a chart of signal amplitudes versus flow height and liftoff. Then, in the following tab, you get to the sensitivity analysis features. Thanks to the metamodel, the so-called Sobol indices can be computed in order to evaluate the shared impact of each parameter on the output signal and assess the most influential ones. You can change the variation law of your parameters. You then obtain a new sensitivity analysis in real time. Another possibility with metamodels is to easily build a POD analysis. From the SIVA desk, click on POD study and select your metamodel file. Select the flow size parameter among the variables. And after a few seconds, a POD curve is computed and displayed. You have full access to all variable parameters to adjust their variation low with no need for new simulations. Here, we change variation lows for the liftoff, the tilt angle, the flow height and width, and finally, we assume a constant ligament of 0 mm, indicating a surface breaking defect. And a new POD curve is created in real time. Then, to continue the POD analysis, you adjust the calibration reference and thresholds. The POD curve is adjusted in real time when you change thresholds. You can read the defect size for which you obtain 90% POD with 95% confidence. Statistical tests can help to assess the validity of your POD. Other POD models are available. Here, for instance, you can switch to a hit-miss POD model. With hit-miss, you can observe that the confidence bound looks quite large. It requires more data. Thanks to the meta model, you can resample the data set on demand and generate new POD curves without running new simulations. For instance, let's assume 100 samples for each flow size. You obtain the new POD in a second. And with a much thinner confidence bound than expected. We would like to invite you to learn more about these features and this topic by participating to our SIVA training sessions. Or also to join our new Reliability in NDE training, 
that deals with methods to evaluate reliability of an NDE inspection. Thank you for watching this video of SIVA and do not hesitate to contact us for more information.